show you how nice it is out here. Come on, Riley. Look at a fan on that. Creamy grouse and bacon carbonara is going to be on the menu. A scorpion pepper. Open air outdoors. I'm going to do an overnight camp up. I'm going to pitch a tent in these woods. I'm going to pitch a tent in this forest. I have with me my puppy. Where is my puppy? There's my puppy. This is Riley's first actual hunt. And I got my big girl Lexi back there. She knows all about hunting. This area where I'm in, I have both rough grouse and spruce grouse. Follow along, let's hit these trails and see if we can bag a few birds, at least enough to throw in a frying pan tonight as we cook supper. Let's go do this. Come here puppies. This is where I'm gonna camp out tonight. Absolutely gorgeous spot. Look at the forest be around me. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm on the edge of a, a small lake. I'm gonna pitch camp right here, but not uh, until late today. I'm gonna keep running the Jeep, running the trails. I got out to look around and unfortunately for me, uh, Lexi went out looking. She went running around and she lifted three birds but she was too far away from me. I never get to do the, get a shot on any of the three of them. So I missed out on a few birds right here on the campsite that I'm going to uh, be staying on. So maybe later tonight uh, or this afternoon when I come back and get set up, I'll get lucky. But uh, this is all part of the hunting and it was good because uh, my little puppy Riley running around right there. I'm really banking that he's going to pick up on what's going on by following Lexi around. Unfortunately, Lexi is, uh, she knows we're hunting, but she was not a, actually a trained hunting dog. But she knows what we're doing, what we're, what we're after. And uh, unfortunately for me, when she sees a grouse, uh, she'll chase after it. If I'm lucky, it'll go up in a tree and I can go take it out. If I'm not lucky, she's too far away from me and all she does is push him deeper into the forest. And of course she chases after the squirrels as well. Gorgeous spot. This is familiar grounds for me. I used to come out here. My wife and I used to come to this lake. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like out there. It's beautiful. 
we used to come fishing here years ago excellent walleye fishing but as far as bird hunting is concerned still have nothing to account for but that's okay the day's young we'll see what happens conditions are favorable for the birds not for the hunter it's very mild and there's a lot of foliage It's very thick I'm trying to slow it down with the Jeep I'm just crawling around but it's very difficult to see anything through this bush right now it's early season but I see something right there I'm camping out tonight I'm gonna be pitching a tent and I need firewood and there's some cut and split firewood right there that somebody left behind so I'm gonna take some of it and I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take all of it I'm gonna take some of it and I'm gonna pile it on the roof of the Jeep and I'm gonna have some dry firewood for tonight it looks like it's uh, cedar that stuff burns pretty fast but it burns very good so I'll be harvesting some of that wood Finally, a little bit of success. And uh, this is the very, very first introduction to uh, rough grouse with uh, Riley. So I made sure he got a good smell so that he understands what this is. Absolutely beautiful bird. Look at a fan on that. Gorgeous. What I have here is an adult rough grouse. And you can have an idea how big these birds are. Beautiful bird. But I'm having a lot of trouble here today. Oh, you want an old right. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's taking a liking to it. Come here. Here. Uh, uh. So, I'm having a lot of trouble here today. And a few different reasons. Uh, one, the foliage is very, very thick. So I'm having trouble. I'm seeing birds, but by the time you get out of the Jeep and pull a gun out, that bird is long gone. It, they just walk right off into the forest. And they disappear these things are masters at camouflage and a lot of people i'm gonna say of most people um they don't give credit to how fast these things move through the forest on foot these birds spend most of their time on the ground not in the air flying and they'll they'll scurry through the forest and they'll tuck underneath brush and they go for the thickest, ugliest, brushy stuff there is and they hide. At the very least, um, supper is secured. Well, here it is. It's early afternoon and I've returned to my location where I've already scoped it out for a possible campsite. This is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful spot for me to camp out on. So this is no longer the prime time of day for grouse hunting. So I'm going to take this time and pitch camp, do up my firewood, clean my grouse 
and get all squared away for the evening and then this evening around supper time I'll go for a walk and take the dogs out and see if I can harvest a few more birds but for now time to unload that Jeep and get camp set up making a fire but what I did is I took the cap off the tent I got both doors open and get a cross breeze because it's gonna get too hot in here but I want to cook uh, on the stove and it's gonna get cooler later so yeah I'll suffer through the heat now and uh, so be it kind of thing but now it's time for supper so I got my grouse cleaned up. I'm gonna saute my grouse. I brought everything I need to make this dish here tonight. So it's gonna be uh, creamy grouse and bacon carbonara is going to be on the menu. And the first thing I gotta do is I'm gonna cook two slices of bacon. I'm gonna chop it up because that's gonna get mixed into the pasta. And then I'm gonna cook my grouse. And I brought a bunch of stuff for that going to be fantastic. All right, looking good so far. Okay, change of plans. I just can't do it in there. I, I'm sweating buckets, so I'm moving outside. Luckily for me, there's a table here that the previous campers have built somewhere and uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna work outside because i just can't do it
This is uh, garlic infused olive oil. Man, does that ever smell nice. Gross is going in. I'm gonna turn my temperature down here a little bit. I'm getting a good sear on that. Add another little dab of oil in here. Oh, did that ever smell good? Okay, did I mention I'm doing the cheater method? So I'm using a Nor Sidekick. So creamy, creamy bacon carbonara, right? That's what I said earlier, but now I don't think I divulged that I was using a sidekick. Sidekicks are awesome, but you can make it better, which is what I'm doing today, obviously. Okay, I got my pot on. My water is boiling. Now I can add this to it. While I'm cooking the pasta, there's some other preparations we can do. And that's going to be slicing up the grouse. And I also have something else, something a little bit special here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's what I have that's going to add to my meal. So my wife grew this for me this year. This came out of her garden and they call this a scorpion pepper the other day I, I plucked I got three of them off the plant so far the first one I took out I've never had these things I don't know what they are and I cut the tip off and I ate it to see what it tasted like oh my god wow yeah they call it a scorpion pepper and boy it's a stinger so I'm going to chop up a little bit of this, really finely chopped up, and I'm going to add it to my meal. Not a whole lot of it, I assure you. I'm just going to cut off a little piece on the end, and I'm going to take the rest back home because this stuff is, this is crazy stuff. Okay, let's get chopping, but I don't want to touch it. I'm not sure how much I should take I'm just gonna dice it up really fine scorpion pepper okay now I'm gonna chop up my grouse and I'm not gonna chop up fine I just want some slivers because I still want to bite into it right when I'm eating it you know what I'm gonna cheat a little bit And this uh, spicy pepper medley by uh, Clubhouse, this is a good one on the, on the chicken, or white meat, I, I should say. It's really good on the grouse, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off for a little bit, so I can tend to my pasta. Let's start with the bacon. Because this is bacon carbonara. Well, obviously there's not a whole lot of bacon coming in with the package and then the grouse which is the star of the event here scorpion peppers are in there fresh ground parmesan I get a piece of uh, grouse there Whew. 
Wow, that pepper. Man, this is good. I got one more item to go with this. This is a pale ale by Creamore, and it has a citrus uh, tone to it. I picked this beer specifically because I knew I was going to have uh, a hot meal, like with the pepper. And uh, the spices that I picked to, um, to season the grouse with, it's got a little bit of heat to it too, right? Because it's a pepper medley of some kind. And the citrusy beer... Kind of, um, it almost neutralizes the heat a little bit. Kind of hard to explain. You'd have to try it. You'd have to take my word for it. No, you're not getting any of it because it's got hot stuff. And hot stuff will make you sick. And I don't want you sick, my big girl. So I'm going to eat this out here. Because it's too hot in there. And it's too awkward going to have my uh, Riley what are you doing no no you get over here come on come on good boy I'm going to eat on the tailgate or on the bumper I should say because it's just too hot in that tent I'm going to let my fire die out and then I'm going to retire the sun's going down soon it'll be dark I got to do my dishes before I go because I don't want the, all this smells to attract critters I'll see you back in the tent. It is really hot in here, but I am sleeping on the ground. I'll give you an example of how hot things are getting. What's with the frog legs out? <laughs> it's hot enough that uh, Mr. Riley, Mr. Riley is, uh, <laughs> he dug beyond the pine needles. Everything is covered in pine needles here. And he's digging down into the sand so he can lay into some cold, cool sand. Hey, Riley, Riley. No, dude. No, you're, you're putting sand all over the bed. All right, good night. my two cuddlers I'm gonna have a coffee make a coffee I'm gonna make it on my stove not the wood stove but the propane stove and by the time I'm done my coffee it'll be a, probably a good time in the morning to head out hit the trail and I'm just gonna walk this morning I'm not gonna use the Jeep I'm gonna go for a walk and uh, do my hunt like that then I'll cook up breakfast and I'll cook it out there on that table instead of in here. The squirrels are waking up out there. So pretty soon. Pretty soon it'll be the right time to be out there. Come on, Riley. Come see it. Yeah, look. Ah, 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 Lexi.
I'm back from my walk. I went for a short walk, bagged one bird, uh, total success with that. It was perfect because I got to uh, expose Riley to bird hunting, so it was a success in that way. Um, Riley was very enthused about the whole bird idea, and the whole time we were walking, I would be teasing him with the bird, and he would jump and rip at its feathers out of my hand. And so he's really, he's. It looks like he's getting in tune with that, which is great, because the whole point of this is to to have Riley trained for bird hunting. And quickly, I want to mention this campsite is definitely going to be a do again for me in the future. The telling story about this place is the, the cars that I find in the forest nearby that are date back to the 50s. People have been coming here for a very long time, but it's the trees, the red pine and the white pine that are around my campsite right here. They got to be 150 years old and more. They're just towering, majestic, huge trees. Absolutely gorgeous. The entire area is beautiful. And as far as garbage is concerned, I'm really impressed on how a site like this is being used by people for probably 50 plus years, judging by the cars that are in the forest. Um, the amount of garbage is minimal. There's a, there's a lot of scrap iron. If you, if you play around in the woods, you can find some old scrap iron. But as far as actual garbage, there's a little bit that's contained in one fire pit here. Excellent, I love it when I see these sites like that.